Hey everyone, welcome back, Joey here. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at GPD's Ultra Mobile PC offerings, the UMPCs. I have the GPD Win Mini here on the left. I have the GPD Pocket 4 here on the right. Despite sharing a lot of the same internals and specs, they are very different devices. And I thought it would be cool to just do a video on both of these for anybody that might be in the market for a smaller laptop type device. Now I'm gonna do a full review on the GPD Pocket 4 probably next week. So keep an eye out for that. Today is just gonna be a bit of a different video on the differences between the two, how they look, all that sort of thing. Now, I think right off the bat, you're probably wondering what is going on here, and I'll explain in a second. The Win Mini is more of a traditional laptop. The hinge on it can go up to this. So this is as far as we go right now. And it also just closes. It's That's it. That's as much as you can do with the Win Mini on the hinge and the laptop front, all of that. And it is dual booting both Bazite and Windows. I have Bazite right now loaded on. Now... The Pocket 4, let's let's blow your mind for a second. It just spins and boom. Now you have a nice little either portrait display if you want it to be that. You have a nice little horizontal display if you want to read comics and things like that. You have many different ways that you can use this. And so you just pull it up, you can spin it, and it even goes back as far as you want up to there, basically. So it's a little bit further than the Win Mini in that front. Now let's talk spec-wise. Both of these devices are using the Ryzen AI9 HX370 processor. Pretty powerful devices. Radeon 890M GPU inside of it. There is different options for RAM. The 32 gigabytes of RAM inside of here is LPDDR5X. The 64 gigabytes of RAM inside of here is LPDDR5X as well, 7,500 mega transfers. And then we have the different M2 slots. Both of them are actually using 2280 slots, which is cool. The Win Mini has a seven inch 1080p, 120 Hertz variable refresh rate panel, but the Pocket 4 is actually using the same panel from the Lenovo Y700. It is an 8.8 inch, 144 Hertz, 2560 by 1600 panel. No VRR here. It is just a normal type of panel but a beautiful one for a lot of different things. They both share the same capacity for battery. It's 45 watt hours. We'll talk about that later. And Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 on both. They also both have eGPU support with USB 4 ports. So that's pretty cool. Now, before we get into any more, we have to hear from our sponsor today. Today's video sponsor is FlexiSpot for electric standing desks. Let's see, I have a new device a new dock, a new controller, a new chair, and guess what? An entirely new desk. It was time to upgrade to an electric standing desk. Flexispot's E6 standing desk is a great option. So I can stand whenever I want to, or sit whenever I want to, thanks to the dual motors that can lift up to 355 pounds, which is way more than I would ever need. I can move the desk up or down, or thanks to the memory function, I can save what my favorite positions are and easily swap to them at a tap of a button. It gets super low and super high too, which is awesome. They have a 10 year warranty, which gives me some nice peace of mind as well. And there's so many options for sizes and colors to fit any color scheme that you want. I think it's time to upgrade that boring old desk and grab yourself a standing desk. Pick up a Flexispot E6 electric standing desk, linked in the description, and give your back a nice break sometimes. Looking at the side of the Win Mini, there is only a switch so you can go from gamepad to desktop mode. However, on the Pocket 4, there is an HDMI out, as well as a USB-A port, then, if we look at the front, we have a fingerprint sensor for the power button. The Win Mini does not have a fingerprint sensor anywhere on it, which is a weird omission considering it's kind of a tiny laptop. You would think it'd be on there. On the right, we have nothing. However, on the 
Pocket 4, we have another USB-A port, as well as a headphone jack. And if you want to see the differences between the sizes of the two, it's a pretty decent difference, although both of them are really small. I have a Retro Pocket Flip 2 here. You can see how small these devices really are in the grand scheme of things. Not major or not big at all. But then let's look at the tops here. And the first thing you're going to notice is an Ethernet jack, which makes me super excited. Love when a device has an Ethernet jack. We have a USB-A port on the Win Mini, as well as a headphone jack. Then we have another USB-C port right up here. USB 4 port. We have a USB-C port, USB 4 port. That's all the same. But look over here. This is a KVM module. And if you stay silent, that is the sound of all the IT guys watching having a, a little bit of a moment under their desks. This is the best part about this device, and I'll explain it for people who don't know what a KVM module is. It's also swappable. It actually comes with a micro SD card slot here. You take out these two screws, you can swap it for an optional KVM module, and there's a few other modules as well. Now, the KVM module, why it's important, I'm gonna show you. Now, this is quite stupid, I know. This is not the real use case for KVM module, but I have my Win Mini here, and you're gonna notice that on the screen of the Pocket 4, it is showing the Win Mini. So, it's HDMI in. The, the KVM module has an HDMI in, as well as a USB-C port. The general idea is for those with a headless server, like I do in my house, basically a PC that has no monitor, you connect it, HDMI in, to the Pocket 4, you connect the USB-C to that headless server, and you can then control the actual device using the Pocket 4. Now, I don't have that set up here, obviously, because I don't have a USB-C port plugged in. I'm just doing HDMI in. I was dumb. I tried it with the Switch 2. I was plugging in the Switch 2 HDMI in. And I was able to play it here. There is some latency when it comes to the HDMI in application on here. However, what I found was if you end up using the OBS instead, so if I open up OBS and I use it for display capture, there is no latency at all, or very little uh, as far as that goes. And that was interesting. It's just another way that you can do things if you want to use OBS instead, and it's pretty cool. Okay, now as far as the other differences go on these two devices, the trackpad on the Pocket 4 is a bit bigger, but also it feels a little bit better to use in my hands. I don't think the Win Mini trackpad is bad by any stretch of the imagination. They are both very good. It just for some reason, I kind of like the the way it's laid out on the Pocket 4 more than the Win Mini. But of course, the Win Mini has gamepad controls. It's a major difference here. In all honesty, these two handhelds are very different from each other. You would buy them in very different use cases. The Win Mini is more of a gamepad PC where you just want to be able to play something and have half of a laptop experience. So you're going to give up as you can notice, you're going to give up a lot of the typing abilities. You're going to be giving up a lot of the laptop usage for this. I don't really find it's a good experience to use the keyboard on the Win Mini. It is something like a half-baked sort of idea. You can use this for very quick hotkeys for passwords and all that sort of thing, but you're not going to be using it for typing out really anything. You're not going to be writing emails, all that. Now, on the other hand, the Pocket 4 is made completely for that. And one of my favorite ways to use the Pocket 4 is actually just like this. Well, the screen tilted a little bit more, but you basically have access to your mouse right there and you could use it and click like this. But I like using the actual mouse buttons on the left. And that way you can just use the right click, you can use the middle, you can use whatever you want on this. And this is actually a lot better than really anything that I found. And there's no heat to speak of. Anything under 15 watts, it feels good. And you wouldn't want to go over 15 watts on this device anyways. Now, the other part to this is the actual keyboard. And I find that the keyboard is actually really easy to use. It's not difficult. It's bigger, chiclet style, backlit, better than the Win Mini in this regard. But again, this is more of a laptop. That's what it's meant to be. Now, it's funny, but one of my favorite use cases for the Pocket 4 is actually manga and comics and things like that. And basically, you could have a really good time on this device because it has the same screen as the Lenovo Y700, which is what I was using for manga before this. It's 
is really good. It's really nice. And I know you wouldn't spend this amount of money on this use case, but it fits perfectly. You have this nice big gap on the side. You could put your hand right there. You could just use it. You could one hand it if you want to and just scroll through and read. And this works so nice. And I, it's not a heavy device. I mean, it, it's 700 and something grams. So it is decently heavy, but it doesn't feel that way. You could hold this for a long time and be fine. And it just, it fits so well is a media device, not even including just Plex and streaming and all of that. Having manga on here is a really good fit. And you just go through and, and this, this kind of ties into why the Pocket 4 is such an interesting device and the Win Mini and why I'm, I'm a bit confused as to why other companies aren't trying to do things like this because there are so many use cases. Like think of the Pocket 4. You have the KVM module. You could use it as an IT device if you want. It spins around. You can use it as a tablet. You can use it as a gaming device. You could use it as a media device. You can use it in so many different use cases that it is so very versatile in that way. And it's very interesting. In my review, I'm going to go over this a lot more because I find that to be very cool about it is there isn't a single miss when it comes to what it can do. Now, there are some misses on both of them when it comes to specs. Battery is going to be the biggest one. They are both using a 45 watt hour battery. That is sort of unfortunate. Now, the good thing is with the HX370 processor at 15 watts, you can play quite a bit of games at really good frame rates like Cyberpunk and Black Myth Wukong and all that. And I've done a whole review on this device. You can go see what it can play. They both share the same processor, so it's the exact same. But you're going to see maybe two to two and a half hours max when you're doing that. Now, if I'm running manga or if I'm watching shows and all of that, I'll get six to seven hours of battery life on either of them doing that. But if I'm playing games, if I'm doing anything a little bit more intensive at 15 watts, then yeah, two, two and a half hours is what you're going to see. And that's the unfortunate part. That is where these really have a struggle when it comes to battery. But we're not there yet because of the size. Like, look at how small these devices are in the grand scheme of things. And I used the Flip 2 before as an example, but they are really not big devices. So there is only so much that you can do with a battery in a device like this. And it's one of the negatives that you have to give up for a UMPC like these. But GPD is the only one doing this and it, it's super cool. Now, one other negative, and you can't hear it in this video because I have a voice isolation on, but it's the fan noise on both devices. Now, at 15 watts, it's manageable. You're not gonna really hear the fan too loud. It'll kick up, you'll hear it sometimes, all that sort of thing. But once you get to higher than 15 watts, 18, 20, 25, you'll hear that fan quite a bit. And I'm not going to say it's annoying. At least I find it better on the Pocket 4 than I do on the Win Mini for some reason. From what I can tell, at least on the inside, they are likely sharing a lot of the same internals, even fan and all of that. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I find that the fan noise on the Pocket 4 is a lot more manageable and easier to listen to than on the Win Mini. But it's weird because they both do tend to get hot in the same spots. Flipping this around and we have the Pocket 4 here, on the right side, which is exactly where the fan is, it's nice and cool no matter what TDP you go up to. It's all nice on that side. However, if you're going to notice, there is no fan on the other side. And what ends up happening is that's where I believe the SSD is on this. I know it is on this. Actually, it's a little bit different it's swapped. So the SSD is on this side. We have the processor and everything, the fan on this side. And you find that the right side gets hot. And on this side, the left side gets hot. Now the Pocket 4, it's manageable. I don't really find it to be a concern. I can use it at 15 watts all day long and it's fine. Win Mini, a bit of a different story. I find that it does get warm and uncomfortable on the left side or the right side when you're using it where the SSD is. And this could be a, a factor of them using 2280 SSDs in here as opposed to smaller 2230s that didn't have that problem. But it's a weird scenario because usually when we talk about heat, we're worried about the processor. We're never really worried about the actual SSD. And that is actually what's heating up in these devices. Now, again, it's manageable. I like it on the Pocket 4, no problems at all. Win Mini, a bit of a different story. 
But okay, so as far as today's video goes, I want to do very quick comparison between the two. Just let you know what the differences are, what it looks like, all of that sort of thing. Haven't seen a video like this before, so probably a niche group of people out there that are interested in seeing a comparison between both of them. Now, if you're wondering, why would you pick one over the other? And again, I'm gonna do a full review on the Pocket 4, so we'll talk about that specifically next week. But they are very different use cases to me. I think the Win Mini, you definitely want, if you don't want to be able to carry around a controller, like you just want to be able to get a device that just, you could use the inbuilt or built-in controls. You could play a bunch of different games. It, it's a nice, comfortable feeling. It's small. You can throw it in your backpack. All of that. The Win Mini, I absolutely love. It is a fantastic device. Again, my only complaints with this, and we've talked about it, is the heat, the fan noise, the battery. Those are the three main complaints. Otherwise, this would be top of all devices for me. I love the Win Mini. It's a fantastic device. That, so my use case or why you would buy one of these, you want a gaming device that you could use some sort of hotkeys randomly, shortcuts, things like that, but you don't want to go full blown laptop. Now the Pocket 4, on the other hand, is where you want a laptop. This is what you want to get when you want something better than what you find in normal stores for a laptop. Like you can spin this around, use it as an actual tablet if you want. You want to be able to connect an ethernet port. You have that right here. You want the KVM module because you have a headless server and you want to be able to use that. You want to be able to read manga. You want a beautiful 8.8 .8 inch screen with 144 Hertz refresh rate, all of that sort of thing. You, you want all of the versatility of what this can do and the size of it. Because again, like I have a Y700 right here. Just look at the sizes there. It's not big at all. If you want to look at everything all together, I could probably fit a normal 14 inch laptop in what this size is. These are the benefits of these devices and it's very interesting and you're going to pay for it. These are not cheap devices. The Win Mini, I believe, starts at a thousand US dollars for the 8840U version and the Pocket 4 uh, is around the same, but I think it's a little bit more expensive when we look at the HX370. So I think about 1300 and 1400, something like along those lines. I'll, I'll have everything in the description, but that's that's what you're paying for is the the size benefit of this, how small they are and all of those upgrades that come with that and being able to just throw it in a sling bag if you want to and all of that fun stuff. So as far as today goes, that was all I wanted to share. Just talk quickly about the Win Mini versus the Pocket 4, give you a quick idea of both of them. And again, we'll talk more about the Pocket 4 next week. Let me know in the comments below. It, do either of these interest you? This is a hard thing as a content creator where I don't know if there's a market, if people love these kind of devices, or if they find them to be a bit expensive, a bit out of the price range, a bit, I don't know, different things. So let me know in the comments below. Do either of these interest you? For me personally, I love them both in very different ways. The Pocket 4 is absolutely fantastic and the Win Mini is fantastic too. So let me know. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk all about handhelds and laptops, I guess? Support me on Patreon if you like my stuff, and hope you all have a good one.